In this tutorial, we'll go over how you can create a simple pattern in Scratch and display it to the user. For the purpose of this program, we're going to ask the user for the number of cats that Cindy draws each day, as Cindy is an avid cat drawer. We'll then output the number of cats after each day for five days. To get started under events, we'll go to when clicked. We're going to need three variables for this program the number of days. So under data, make a variable. Number, total number of cats. And finally, number to add, which we will get from the user. At the beginning, we're going to initialize each of the variables. So that means give them each a value of zero to start off with. And that's if the user decides to run the program a second time, it will reset all of the numbers to zero. So you can see I have the number to add, the number of cats, and the number of days set to zero. We can now go ahead and ask the user how many cats Cindy wants to draw each day. We need the answer block, so you can drag it over now. So that was under sensing, ask and wait. Under data, go to set number to add, and we're going to set it equal to the user's answer. So if they enter in three, the number to add variable will store the value of three, and that will be the number of cats that we add each day, because that's the number Cindy draws. Now in our program, it said that we're going to output the number of cats after each day for five days. So after one day, two day, three day, four days, and five days. So what we can do is use a loop. So under control, go to repeat and change the number to five. We can then go ahead under data. We would like to change the number of days by one. So change block, number of days by one. So each time it goes through this loop, number of days will be increased by one. We also want the number of cats to increase as well, but we want it to increase by the number that the user enters. So go to the set block, so number of cats. We're going to need an operator here. Under operators, select the addition operator, go back to data, drag over the total number of cats, and we're going to add to that the number to add variable which is what's storing the number of cats Cindy draws each day. So the total number of cats will be equal to the total number of cats, so the current total number of cats, plus the cats, the number of cats she draws each day. And that will change every day. Finally, we want to output this to the user. So there's a couple different ways you can output it. I did one earlier that might be a little bit, that might be a bit simple. So you can say number of days, and it will uh, keep that on the screen for two seconds, and then it'll say the number of cats. So after one day, there'll be this number of cats. After two days, you'll have to wait, there'll be this number of cats. There's another way you can do it um, by putting it all on one line. So under looks, you can go to say hello for two seconds. You're going to need a few join blocks. That's under operators. I think we need four here, so let's try that out. So after space, go to data, number of days, We'll type in days, so space days. Cindy will have drawn space. Oops, let's make sure there's a space in there so the variable value is not right up against the, the letter N. She will have drawn that number of cats. So again, space cats. So let's try out our program to see if it works now. How many cats will Cindy draw each day? Let's say she draws three cats each day. Press enter. After one day, Cindy will have drawn three cats. After two, six cats. After three days, nine cats. After four days, 12. And after five, 15. Now that was a little bit quick. So I'm going to go and change the number of seconds to three so that we can 
see that a little bit longer each time. So you can see when I re-clicked the green flag, each of my variables were changed to zero, so that resets them. How many cats will Cindy draw each day? On the first day, let's say she draws two cats each day for this time, so press enter. After one day, Cindy will have drawn two cats. After two days, Cindy will have drawn four cats and so on. So it actually displays a pattern quite easily in Scratch. So you can try a whole bunch of different numbers to make sure your program is working. Good luck with that program.